Hi guys, welcome back to Learn Golf with Cassie. Today we're at North Bay and we're at the chipping green. So we're going to practice using the chipping re chip pitching wedge and um, get the chip within tapping distance from around the green. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so hi everybody. Today Cassie is going to do the chipping to tap in range. It's with the pitching wedge. And um, we did this in the last video. Just a recap for Cassie's point because she wasn't here. Basically, we keep the, uh, the triangle here. And we're just moving the triangle back with our shoulders. No hip turn, just back and then through. We're gonna keep the same sort of pace going back and through. So there's no acceleration, there's no deceleration. We've got to make sure that we don't try and hit the ball with our hands. That's death. It's really just a case of you brush through, it picks up the ball, and if you remember, we, we counted, this is 12 paces. We have our landing spot 50% approximately. So I put my hat down here about six paces and run out six paces. So we have to try to hit the ball to that distance. So the shoulders go back, keeping that triangle, and then as we turn through, we just keep the hip moving and the club face up. But there's no hitting, we're not trying to hit under the ball, we're just literally sweeping through so we get an easy tap in. I'll do that one more time. That one came out very low, which is fine. I'm going to try and make it a little bit higher. one foot short of my goal that means I came up about one foot short of my hole but that's still very easy putterable so we're going to see Cassie do this now let's see how she does it. all right so just didn't swing through that was right on the money landed right next to the hat and so as a consequence landed right next to the hole so she's only got to swing enough to get that ball to get to where the hole is, the hat is, and look at that, perfect. There's no hitting, there's no flipping, it's just literally sweeping it through. She caught that one a bit heavy, landed halfway, ended up where the hat is, way through. That's a player. Good, that's possible. So keep the... Now that's decelerating the ball. So first time out for Cassie. There's the woman there. Wait, wait, Cassie, wait, 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 wait. So the two that she stuck in the ground, the club head didn't carry on, didn't get anywhere near. These are the four where she hit the ball right. Two absolute tap-ins, one very makeable. Okay, so if we were putting this shot, we would not stop at the ball. We would not try and flip our hands. We would just keep it nice tempo all the way through and go near the hole. So when we do it with the club, it's the same concept. I have to make sure that I finish. That one I got a bit jammed up, but I kept the club going through and end up next to the hole. So if you try to hit, you end up stabbing the ball. We're just basically doing a putting speed cut. And just making sure that we turn the body with the putt as we go through. And those are three tap-ins for me there without really having to think too much about the technique. So you've got stuck there. So the club has to keep going through, that's it. No hit, just like your putting speed. Perfect. That landed right next to the, the zone where we want the, we put our hat down. Oh, now that's the hand flipping and that's death. You see that? Oh, you're just sweeping it through. 
Oh, perfect. And the result exactly as we wanted. Okay, that's okay. You landed it where you wanted to and the result was correct again. The turn to allow the putter to go through. And that's a stopper. That plays, you just kind of uh, accelerated into the ball and popped it up there, but it plays. Good. And again, all of those, this is just the second round, but there's now three, four tap-ins, one within range, and just one or two not quite as we wanted. So this is only the second time she's done it. See the results. Good shot. Good shot. A little bit, a little bit hot there. Just the tempo. That's going to work. Okay. Even though it's a little bit heavy. That was a little. Not quite the shot there. That's perfect. Perfect, and the result is perfect. You know it's gonna be close when you land it on your spot and you have the right tempo. That's a little bit short, but still there's no danger about any of these shots. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so we've got three foot, two foot, two tap-ins, foot and a half, three foot, and a six footer one those are all a lot closer than we usually have when we try and fl flop it high okay so we're going to go with the sandwich where are we going to have to land this now we still want to do the same thing and know where we want to land the ball so cassie is taking it to about 80 percent she's got there so 80 percent of 18's paces would be about maybe 13 14 paces She's taking the sand wedge and this is really just a, a checking to see whether she can do better with the sand wedge. But look at the length of swing she's got to be able to use to get it there. Okay, she was short. Short again, sitting down quick, they're not running because it's a sand wedge. Okay, that's a nice looking shot, still short though. Again, nice shot. She was aiming for the the hat as the flag would be in nice shape, but she's adding that's her landing position. Hone it in. Okay, now there we go. Now that was a good shot, but she's now added that much more speed to get it up there but now she landed it right by the flag and it's gone 10 feet past there's the best one she's had today okay I think the evidence would suggest you out of seven balls one of them is within six feet the others are all 10 plus feet you didn't actually play them bad at all you hit them all quite correctly it's just trying to dial in that distance control when you're flying it further is a lot more difficult. What's our opinion? I think the other one's more accurate, don't you think? I would say if you don't have to go high, it's much more manageable. Because you actually, you landed them with the sand wedge exactly the same spot as we had done with the pitching wedge. So having the pitching wedge roll out gets it closer to the flag. Thumbs up button and subscribe. Bye.